on guys, welcome to this video. Thank you for tuning in with me today. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Just a friendly reminder that I really appreciate you guys liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. It helps tremendously. Jumping right into things, you can notice that we have a different background behind me. Yes, this is the new garage door of the new garage, of the new house, of the new property. Yes, I'm now a homeowner and it feels good, but I gotta say that the past few days have been just a little bit, I wouldn't say overwhelming, but let's just say physically taxing because I can't even tell you guys how many trips I've made in and out of my house right now, the old rental property, and how many things I've carried, and the final realization of, I can't believe I have so much stuff. Living in one house for two years, you collect so many things that you kind of just don't notice until you go to move back out. From that initial point of moving in, you tend to ask yourself, how the heck did I collect all these things? So guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the garage, and I just wanted to forewarn you all that this is still a rough draft. I just literally moved in, it's in its rawest form. This garage is going to see a transformation over the cycle of this channel, and I will keep you guys updated as to the things that I'm gonna be doing in here, but right now my mission is to just get my space. Now in this video, we're gonna cover a few things. I'm gonna give you a tour of the garage. We're gonna go into some of the content on the Minimax because we do have another modification that we're gonna do to it today. And then we're gonna go out and rip on the Minimax so you guys can get a good idea as to how things changed. And then what I'm gonna do following this video is get back to moving because my life is currently boxed up inside. Now guys, before we go any further, I'm really pleased to say that this video is a sponsored video. Now before I go into who it's sponsored by, I just wanna let you know that I'm approached all the time by companies asking me to pitch something to you guys. I often reject those. I can let you know that I've rejected over 25 different solicitations because they're asking me to pitch a product or service that I don't believe in. I choose fruitfully only to talk about things on this vlog to you guys that I firmly believe in because I think that is as a testament to my word and I wanna make sure that I'm keeping the highest credibility for all of you. Now, one big misconception about Dollar Shave Club is everybody thinks they're just razors. Well, they're not. They're the all-encompassing manscaping solution. Whether it's showering, brushing your teeth, making sure your hair doesn't look like this, well, because I haven't used their product, or anything from hair gel to just smelling damn good when you're ready to go out and tackle the day. Now, if I had to just digress for a minute, I personally had no idea that Dollar Shave club offered anything but shave products, but they do. And that's actually where they excel. I'm blown away by some of the products that they provided me. At the end of the day, guys, I want you to know that I'm giving you my word. You can get mad at me if you get these products and you don't like them, I promise. Because honestly, right now I'm standing here in my garage alone with confidence that you will enjoy these products. I know that I did and it takes a lot to achieve that level of satisfaction. Dollar Shave Club's basically giving away their daily essential starter kit for only five bucks, guys. Five bucks. Just think, that's not even lunch one day during the week. This starter set features three trial products as well as their executive razor. And yes, that razor did leave me feeling like a boss and a full cassette of razors. Pretty good deal in my opinion. This $5 offer is available right now at dollarshaveclub.com backslash DMJ. I'm gonna go ahead and put all that information down in my description below. I suggest right now, guys, again, take my word for it that you will not be disappointed. Let's carry over into the rest of the video. Well guys, <laughs> I am a little tired right now, but I'm gonna say that the new garage is here and I'm super excited about it. There is so much more room for activities in here and I can't wait to build this space out into kind of my dream space. For a first time house, I couldn't be any more appreciative and just grateful. Ooh, the new Minimax. The Minimax is gonna be getting some 420s. So that is gonna be coming. We've got some wheels on the way. We've got fringe drag radials. I need to get them back to him. It's just been so hectic in my life right now. So the first thing that I need to do in this garage is basically paint it. So it's really dark and I don't like that. It's not gonna be good for filming because the light does not emit off of this dark gray whatsoever. So we're gonna be going through here with a white and then I'm probably gonna hit it with like a, like a two-tone. I don't know what colors exactly, maybe a gray, like a light gray and then maybe a white on the ceilings. Haven't figured that all out yet, but in order to do that, I need to figure out where all this crap is gonna go. Probably probably right in the middle, opposite of where it is right now. So that way I can paint the walls. I gotta pull everything off the walls. I gotta get better lighting in here for you guys too. Thinking LED strips are gonna line each side 
side of the ceiling. And then of course, racking and shelving systems all around. I'm gonna definitely keep you guys posted with how I do that. I think it'll be a nice little change and a, a cool aspect to the channel because I know a lot of you guys out there are garage owners yourselves and I've got some pretty cool ideas that I think would be very useful for all of you and they're gonna be cost effective. They're not gonna be too, anything too ridiculous. Probably gonna buy most of my stuff on Amazon Prime to be completely honest. But I'm super excited guys, I'm super excited because once everything is said and done, this is gonna be kind of the workspace. This is gonna be kind of the wash and lawnmower and kind of other homeowner related things space. Uh, and then everything in the middle is gonna be for vehicles. So this is gonna be kind of my work bay, if you will. We're just gonna have probably one slot that's available. We'll maybe use both spots, but I really wanna just use the middle spot. So that way I have a nice working environment and I can ultimately get comfortable when we are working on the trusted mini max or the dirty max or whatever the case might be back into the swing of things here let's uh get this mini max turned around get it lined up here right in front of the garage and jump in under the hood So what we're gonna be installing today is the DSP-5 switch on the Minimax. Now, I can control my tune selection from my Edge CTS-2. I more or less like to use that as a monitor, not to something that I have to actually physically scroll through and interact with. It's super simple. It's analog and it clicks into place and you know with confidence that you are where you want to be. Now guys, this is a relatively simple installation. Uh, the sketchiest part, if you will, is kind of getting into the ECM. There's three plugs that line ECM, which is tucked in this little black box here. We need to gain access to the bottom plug to plug in these two electrical ports. These allow, I don't know, this switch to interact with the specific area of the ECM from an electrical engineering perspective. That's about as technical as I can get, um, but they clip in. There's basically a little retaining clip that slides out of the ECM that you'll see. These will slide into place that actually is uh, a placeholder right now. There are these little plugs that are in, in the spots where this switch needs to go. Uh, so the tools that you guys are gonna wanna use here are a nice set of needle nose pliers, and some mechanical picks, like a nice mechanical pick set. That way you can kind of get into those fine-tuned places that fat fingers can't. All right guys, now comes the methodical part. It's really hard to see because I'm filming on a GoPro right now, but there are numbers that run numerically from the top right corner right now through to 14 to 28 to 42 and then to 56. So number 32 is where the purple wire is gonna go and number 50 is where the black wire is gonna go. Black wire is gonna go here. So my GoPro died, sorry about that guys. I don't know where it stopped because I haven't reviewed the footage yet, but I did go ahead and upload my DSP-5 tunes in uh, before I just had kind of a single standalone tune. Got the switch installed, looks very nice good and operable. Also, I just talked briefly about uh, two ways that you could go and upload your EFI Live tunes. Um, again, shout out to Motor Ops for everything that they provided for these trucks. These trucks are running so much better than they were before. Uh, what's also really nice about that is I can call them if I ever have a question and I can get a person literally immediately. I don't have to wait on hold. And that is a very important factor to me to get a person when I need help. But anyway, um, the trucks are running way, way better. I do recommend going into your computer, connecting through USB and OBD2, both into the auto Cal, and using that as a liaison to upload tunes directly from your computer. You can also upload them through the AutoCal. I always forget how to do that though. Um, plus, I like doing it from the computer because you can go right out of your email, download the file, double click it. It'll open up in the calibration. You'll get all green checks. If you are, go to full flash. Full flash, as long as you have your license activated, you'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up. <laughs> So 
So unfortunately my GoPro is giving me issues. I have no idea what's going on. Tune one right now feels pretty slow in stock. Still moves out pretty good though. <laughs> Tune 1 is supposed to replicate stock. Tune 2 is an economy tune. Tune 3 is a tow tune. Tune 4 is a street tune. And Tune 5 is a race tune. What we'll do is we'll switch up to Tune 3. Way more throttle responsive. We're gonna go up to tune five. Seriously, way different. I mean, way, way, way different than that of the previous tune. Tune five, throttle responsiveness is there. Uh, pulls pretty hard. She pulls pretty hard. I just feel like she's kind of limited right now with the lack of air intake uh, and kind of the stock capability of the turbo as well as fuel delivery, right? So air and fuel, that's what diesels run off of and that's what you need in order to make power or continue to improve or increase power. Right now, I'm on a stock intake and I have no lift pump. So. If that doesn't give you an inclination as to what's next, then you might want to rewind and play again. So I'm really happy that that went well and fluid. Sometimes when you're dealing with those electrical connectors, you gotta plan for the absolute worst because if something was to go awry, it could create a serious headache. Now one more thing I wanted to mention to you guys before I let you all go today is I've got some more tools. Yes, I'm beginning to organize here. Now my toolbox is very small, but you gotta start somewhere. And it doesn't matter about the size, it's about how you use it. Now, in here I've got a nice set from a quarter inch up to a half inch. I've got really all the tools that one would need. Granted, it's not in the biggest toolbox, but it's nice because now I have the capability to tackle jobs that I otherwise once wasn't confident doing. So what I did was, is I bought a 309 piece craftsman tool set. It came with pretty much everything you would need under the sun, extensions, ratchets, sockets, deep sockets, all different sizes. They've got ratchet wrenches, which is really nice. Something that I was happy to find which will make uh, every every job just so much easier. I'm gonna put that in the description below as well. I'll put an Amazon link direct. That way, if you guys wanna check it out, you'll have the ability to do so. Now, I think it's reached that point in the video where the pool has been dried up because of that nice hot heat in the sense that I do not have any more content for you guys today. I got so much unpacking to continue to do. My likely, I love you guys. Do what you do best. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, go ahead and do so. Stay tuned to the Minimax build, and I'll see you guys in the next upload.